Hey everybody, oh, welcome back. Um, I just, we're just gonna put in a quick rug. I say quick, I'm just gonna, um, so we're just gonna create a cube, resize it. Let's turn the, these back on, brush it over. Uh, we're just gonna make it the right size, nice and thin. We're uh, gonna scale it out this way so it fits every almost everything. We're just gonna go straight underneath there and there. That looks nice. Okay, so we're just gonna bring it over here. Um, so we can do our thing. Let's just scale that down a little bit I'm just bring it more over there we go we can see what's going on now and just scale it right down uh, I'm just going to go into edit yeah. so I'm going to go focus on it we're going into edit we're going to do a few loop cuts probably about 30 I reckon about that and then the same again on the other edge about 30. Bang, bada, bang, bang, bang. Um, I shouldn't have moved that, but there we go. Um, okay, so now we need to. What do we need to do? We're going to just give it a subdivision. Okay, and now we are going to select the top. Um, or the faces, the vertices on the top. Um, if you want to do the edges, because you can make the carpet come out of the edges as well, um, you can do that. Um, but ah, oh, stuff it. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll have it all coming out the edges as well. Let's make sure we. <laughs> Let's just make sure we. Let's just exit out of that and then make sure we haven't got. Ah, uh, goddammit. Okay, let's hit the top again and select. Let's just make that bigger. Just select all that. And then escape. Let's check, make sure we haven't got the bottom there. No, it looks like we are all good. Control G to assign to a new group. Come down here. Let's just name it a rug and a sign, boom, bitty, boom. Um, so we can check to make sure that we've got this by going to weight paint. So the top side red, bottom side blue. This is the side that's going to be affected. Um, so we need to add the emitter, which is going to be emitter we're going to change it to hair and as you can see there we have got a long long hair um, so first of all we're going to our vertex let's just close all this vertex groups density we just want on a rug so we've got coming out the edges there coming out the bottom and out the top um and then what we will do is adjust the length um and, uh, hair length down to let's see what five is oh that's quite yeah we're going with five i guess we'll see what happens um so we need to tick the advance. We need the advanced tab. Um, now we need to go in to physics. Um, forces Brownian. And let's just change that to 0 0.015. Um, and you can see there it's giving it all the a little bit of a kink if you like um like a random sort of curve and then if we go to velocity la 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 where is velocity there 
there it is um and then we can change randomize say 0 0.0 to so you can see there it's ran it's making all the hairs random um and we also need to go into render and b spline um and then no, you need to go into children tab um interpolated um as you can see there but i think what the interpolate does for every hair that you have on there it will grow 10 around it something like that i think that's what it is correct me if i'm wrong um and then uh da -da -da -da. we need to go lumping so we're going to take the clump um, into a negative figure so there if you take it to a positive you can see there it just all clumps it up so we're just going to take it into a negative figure and just a random number for the shape um, we need to do the root diameter, which is, oh, uh, where was it? Um, oh, hair shape. So the root diameter, so you can't see the root diameter at the moment, but if we go into um, render mode, you can see it's a little bit too much. So we're just gonna take it down to um, not point and the tip 0 0.02 and something like that okay um, and then we can change the um, display amount to I don't know depending on how fast your computer is. Mine's not that fast. It's gonna do to like a thousand. Ah, there we go, look, we slowed right down. Maybe I should have just changed that to about 50,000. Plus we're in the render mode. Let's, ooh, that is not good. Right, so here we are back again. Um, so yeah, so we've got all our, it's like really on a proper go slow at the moment. So it's gonna be like really quick now. Um, so we've got our, uh, um, oh, where am I? Oh, here we are. Um, yeah, so we just need to change that, remove that. So there's not so many, so this is hopefully a little bit manageable. Um, so yeah, we're back here. We've got all our um, carpet e bits on there. Um, we're gonna put a, a texture on there. So we're gonna add two textures. Um, one is gonna be for the base carpet. So we're just gonna say that's like a dark brown, like that. Um, and then we're going to add another one, which is going to be, we're just going to do like a lighter colour. Still going to be brown, but it's like a light, a lighter brown. Um, we're going to rename that one to rug because we're going to use that. I'm just going to use that in a minute and so I know which one it is. We're just going to go back into particles and then textures. Um, uh, back in the render tab, um, yeah, so there we go. So that's going to have the rug material, and then the actual ma bottom piece is going to be darker. Okay, so we're just going to move this hopefully painstakingly back. Um, let's just focus on there. We didn't even put the. So 
So we're just going to move this about so we can get everything in place. Um, that looks kind of okay. Um, right, let me just save this. And then we're just going to render and we'll see what see how it comes out. Um how is it doing? Come on. Does it look like a rug? Um kind of. need that to just need that to hurry up a little bit so we're just going to come back when it's um, rendered okay so uh, there it is um, the rug is all done as you can see there we can see all the furry hairy bits the strands um, actually fits in quite well and I think it looks a little bit more homely than just a wooden floor um, yes I did change the texture on the floor um, just to make it a little bit more home looking um, rather than the, just that yellow that I put on originally so all I've done is changed the floor just added a texture on there we just added in a rug um, and then in the next video um, I still got to do the alarm clock so I'll quickly do that and just the lighting just the lighting to go and we'll see how that goes in the next video Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, anyway, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Ta-da.